Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video. I deeply, deeply apologize for the fact that I have not posted in a couple of weeks. I've just kind of taken the step back to realize like what exactly I wanted to do for Star Sketch because I felt like I wasn't going in the direction I wanted to, which I'm going to be talking about in this. Um, and yeah. And we're just going to be chilling. This is going to be an Erin Talks episode slash color with me. I'll tell you what my thoughts were about it in a second. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Again, sorry for no content. Content is coming back. Um, I'm thinking once a week, new video again, um, like we have done in the past. So that should be exciting. But yeah, so without get without rambling too much, even though that's going to be this video, um, let's get started. So I came up with this idea while fried. I'm currently fried, if you catch my drift. And um, I came up with this idea while fried that basically I wanted to do a video. I love doing color with me videos, and I love doing just like sit down talking videos. So why not combine the two? Like as if we're like actually coloring together like on a video call or something. So feel free as I'm talking here, feel free to grab your supplies. Um, I'll talk about what my supplies are in a second. But that's what I kind of want the vibe to be for these type of videos. And if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comment section down below so then I can do more of these. Um, I'm thinking of doing them like once a month if people like it. Um, because this was an idea that I came up with that I don't see many other people doing. All I've seen with color with me's anyways is like the camera only on the picture. I'll talk about my page in a second. Um, but I figured this would be more interesting as it feels like we're on a video call together. So yeah, I'm, except it's one sided, which kind of doesn't make sense. But anywho, it's fine. <laughs> just pretend that we're just chilling and you don't even have to talk. You just have to listen to me, which may sound boring, but hey, uh, whatever floats your boat. Um, but today we're going to be doing a video all about just why I've been gone for a couple of weeks, like what I've, I've been up to, and also just straight up just talking about whatever kind of comes to my mind until I finish this page. I may start another page during this video. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to keep it under an hour. We'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I figured this would be a really cool video idea. Do you like the text? Oh, here we go. Do you like the text here? Um, I figured it would make things more interesting. Maybe I could add some more things to the screen moving forward, but I figured this would suffice. Again, this is me just chilling in my room. I haven't even made my bed yet. I like just took a shower. I like mowed the lawn this morning and then I was like, well, I got the rest of the day to kind of do whatever. So I figured I would film this video today. Um, but yeah, so how have you all been? Um, for me, currently, I have been feeling a bit like I was going so because of the fact that I've done so many mental health groups, support groups, etc., all my different tools, I kind of realized I was going down a slippery slope. But before I get into that, I just realized I didn't even talk about my supplies yet. So let's do that first, and then I'll talk about what I was just about to talk about. Um, so currently, I am doing a page from Creepy Jamboree. Um, this is by Louisa May. It's a kawaii pastel coloring book. It's probably, I think it's one of her newest. I'm not sure but it did come out fairly recently and it's so freaking cute. So right now I am doing the three headed bear page. I was just envisioning like Powerpuff Girls, but I didn't want to go like red. So I did pink, blue, and green. And I already did the chair and I did the candles and the skulls. Now I just have to do all the boring background stuff. <laughs> um, but then after that, I will probably start another page and I was thinking about doing, where is it? Where is it? I was thinking about doing this page with the cat. With the, looks like a Grim Reaper cat, basically. So, we'll see. I've been really getting into creepier stuff lately. Like creepy pastel, like, oh, it's cute, but also creepy kind of vibes. 
because uh, of Halloween vibes coming. So that's what I've been working on. Um, and recently I did a grocery haul and I decided that I needed some new markers because I went to go use my alcohol markers the other day. I mean, I do have Sharpies, which are totally fine as an alcohol marker substitute. However, I just, come on, you know me, I need to have all the art supplies. So I got this set from Target. Um, it's the Mondo Llama, Mondo Llama brand, um, aka the Target brand. And I know I probably should have saved my money because my birthday's coming up. That's another thing we could talk about. Um, but yeah, my birthday's coming up and I was like, do I really want to buy a new marker? I'm going to get more markers anyway, so. So, it was fine. It was a well-deserved purchase. It was also one of those days that I was just... I needed to buy things to better myself and I feel like coloring is one of those things that like really helps me when I'm going through it so yeah um, but let's be open let's be honest um, and talk about stuff um, no this has nothing to do with like a breakup or anything me and my boyfriend are still great I know a lot of you think that whenever I talk about these kind of videos no mm -mm -mm. It, everything is great on the relationships end, aka friends, sh friend, friendships, my relationship, family, all of that is good. It's just more of things that are out of my control that have been really kind of uh, putting a downer on me. So I'm going to talk about that, um, which kind of led to the slippery slope that I was talking about. Um, I have no idea what to do for the background here. I think I'm going to just make it red in the background to match the chair. I already decided, okay. Um, so, okay, I just realized that I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to color and talk at the same time. I think I'm okay though. Um, <laughs> anywho, going back to what I was talking about. So, the last couple of days, well, I should say the last couple of weeks, um, kind of led to this kind of me feeling in a funk kind of mode um and i won't go into too many details because i don't like to get too too personal here on my channel because just you know things could happen but i'll try to be as personal as i feel comfortable if that makes sense um one thing being is that i have been trying to go back to driving school um for those of you that don't know i tried before, co before uh, the Backstreet Boys tour, if you catch my drift, the thing that happened in 2020, before that happened, um, I was taking lessons, but I had a really bad experience. Basically, I was driving, learning how to drive, and my instructor was on his phone, and I, I was doing everything right. Like, I was doing, like, what I was supposed to, but this giant truck decided to run a red light while I was running going green and I literally almost got t-boned thankfully I like knew to hit the brakes you know so that was traumatizing um so because of that it really threw me off when it came to driving lessons and I didn't feel comfortable being in the same thing as that instructor it was a whole thing and long story short I decided to take a break um and take a step back because I was just too it was too much for me to go back so um that happened and then now I am at a stage where I want to try to go back and drive again um but it seems like the universe doesn't really want me to for some reason at this point in time um because I went I was planning on going to a driving lesson at this particular driving school who under my impression was you know to serve people with high anxiety um, when it comes to driving spoiler alert they weren't it's just this whole thing um, but on my end of things unfortunately my sister who was going to drive me there basically um, was unable to come get me which totally fine like literally there was a accident on the nearby highway near me where two cars were like literally on top of each other so she wasn't gonna get to me until the time of my driving lesson so she's like can you just call them and I said sure obviously and they did not want to have me come in late and they were going to give me a fee 
I'm not going to exploit said fee cost, but let's just say it's not normal for a driving school to do that. I feel like they should be more accommodating for different situations like that, especially for something to happen like that, like a big accident and all that. Like, you're probably going to have other delays that day, you know, if you have any lessons, that is. Um, so, yeah, so that was very frustrating, not on my sister's end at all. My sister felt like crap after it, but I was like, no, no, like... It was something out of our out, out of our control, and which sucks, but at the same time, things happen. So, I've been trying to do my best to research better driving schools for something of my interest. So, there has been, it hasn't been put on the back burner per se, I'm just kind of trying to figure it out before, you know, stepping into a new opportunity like that again, so... I'm just kind of calling my energy back and be like, oof, like, you know, that happened. Let me just try to take a step forward, you know? So, yeah, so that happened. And then on top of that, as you guys know, I've been trying to find a job. And uh, that hasn't been going too well. Job search sucks. I have a friend, um, again, I won't give names, but I have a friend, a personal friend, who is also trying to find a job, and she can't even find one. And she also has, like, a college degree, all this experience, all that. So it's just been frustrating. So, for the most part, I have just been home all day, just kind of alone, and uh, doing some art projects and stuff, which has been really, really fun, to be honest. Um, I'm actually really excited because I'm getting ready for another vendor event. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys have been seeing all this stuff about my vendor event uh, activities. And uh, I have another one coming up in September, beginning of September, the weekend after Labor Day weekend. Um, and I'm so excited about it. And I'm just making a bunch of pride art for it as well, which has also been super fun. Um, I already made a series of Disney characters that are all pride. Um, and I did a trippy mushroom pride painting, but I still have so many canvases, and I have a feeling that I'll be getting more for my birthday, because I always get canvases, or I'll end up buying some more canvases myself, because I did get a couple gift cards already. Um, your girl's going to be making so many paintings over the next couple of months. Um, I'm super excited for spooky season and fall and all of that, so that's really exciting to look forward to. I guess I just have a better mindset about things now. I was just kind of bleh, like the last couple of weeks, just kind of like figuring it out. It was not till yesterday that I decided, okay, I need to I need to get out of this. Like I, I saw my warning signs and that is so important. So one thing I wanted to bring up in this video that is so important for all of you that also struggle with your mental health is make sure that you know your warning signs before you start to slip into a depression. That is probably the most helpful thing that has helped me personally and I feel like would help a lot of other people out there. So highly recommend maybe having like a journal sesh with yourself and ask yourself when I'm starting to feel kind of bleh what things tend to happen and what habits do I cultivate when that happens. So for me, uh, just to give some examples, I started to eat very poorly <laughs> over the last two weeks. As you guys know, I've been in and out of weight loss stuff over the last couple of years, you know, and um, been trying to lose weight, but also just in general trying to eat healthier because I was told that I have high cholesterol and shit, so it's like this whole other thing. Um, but I just wanted to be healthier, and that was the end of it. And I could tell that I was starting to slip um, into this slippery slope that I talk about um, when I wasn't taking care of myself in terms of nutrition and drinking more water rather than drinking alcohol or drinking uh, milk or like other things that aren't water, basically. Um, and I was just like, I should, I, I need to change this. So, um, so that's been something I've been trying to step back into is eating healthier again. So again, I have, you know, I did my grocery shopping haul, like I talked to you about when I got these markers. Um, so I was able to get some lactate, um, which is like my milk that I drink with my cereal. 
uh, in the morning I have Cheerios, which helps with cholesterol issues. Um, I have uh, some rice cakes and peanut butter. Um, I have some pretzels as a snack um, if I'm ever hungry. I also got everything seasoned uh, crackers, which have been really nice. I've just been choosing healthier rather than like eating chips and shit like that. So that's been pretty nice. Um, also charcuterie boards are like, I've been loving those lately. That's been like a love lately. It's just like whenever I go to a family function or something, I always hope that there's a charcuterie board now because I'll like literally take crackers, cheese, meat, like, I don't know. It's just been a go-to snack of mine, I guess. Um, uh, another warning sign that I tend to see when I'm slipping is um, I tend to watch things that are just, they're entertaining, but I'm not regaining anything in my personal life when watching them. Um, and also I use it to compare to make myself my in my situation look better than it could be. Um, and that's like watching uh, like judge shows. So like a Judge Judy, um, you know, Judge Mathis just going on freaking YouTube and going down the rabbit hole of that. That isn't fun because I'm just listening to other people's drama and issues and in, in my head I'm like, oh yeah, thank god I don't have to go through this. But at the same time it's not raising my vibrations at all. It's kind of keeping me in that mindset so that's another warning sign also I'm so sorry if you hear the construction outside I it has been a time here um, we're also having construction on my road uh, they're like replacing pipes or something and then eventually paving the road so that'll be fun for videos you guys will hear all the construction shit going on but hey it needs to get done you know I can't complain my roads gonna get paved eventually I just have to go deal with it, <laughs> I guess. Um, what other warning signs were there? I also noticed myself not really getting out of bed. That's a big warning sign for a lot of people, is the not being able to get out of bed part. Like, I literally would just immediately feel like I needed to just go to my bed, watch something on my phone, and, like, fall asleep. Like, just to take a nap, to just, like, not, you know do anything that day because I was like oh I'm not really doing anything anyways I don't have a job I don't go to school whatever so I would like fall into that so that's another warning sign um and I felt like I needed to color in bed and watch tv in bed and just be in bed and as much as days like that like every once in a while is fine consecutive days is a no-no so that was when I realized I need to you know refunctuate my room so that's why my desk is now here um you're used to being it on this wall um but i decided to switch it up a bit and my room's the same as it always has been it's just i have this table over here that has all of my paint it's like more like storage underneath and on the top i just kind of made pretty um but i will be using this as like a table to for packaging orders and stuff for star sketch um while here is just my desk, my little desk, um, that I got from Ikea a long time ago online. And, uh, I feel like, I don't know, the switch did something to me because now I'm just, like, more inspired to come to my desk and do whatever. So if you're feeling like that, of just like, oh, I just want to be in bed, maybe switch up your room. That might be something that might be very helpful, um... Just, or switch up, like, you know, say if you're a colorer, a colorist, I guess you could say, like myself, and you're just feeling like you need to color in bed, or, you know, you need to, you're not, like, feeling a page, or you're kind of in a coloring funk, that could be something you could do. Um, but those are really, like, the biggest warning signs, I feel like, when it comes to, like, me, when it comes to, like, uh, when things start to go, go south a little bit. So because I realized all of these yesterday, literally yesterday, um, I was like, I need to change something. So I literally wrote out a little to-do list that's posted behind you. My boyfriend's nanny, aka his grandmother, um, I love her to death, she got me this like whiteboard thing. And if you guys remember like when I first started YouTube, if some of you were around back then, um, 
I used to do little whiteboard, you know, to-do lists every week before I went to school. Like, I would literally write out my schedule for every single day on it kind of a thing. Like, I was obsessed. Like, dry erase boards were my thing. And then I don't know what happened. I guess after high school, I just kind of stopped doing it. And, I mean, I did a little bit during college, but then I just, like, kind of stopped doing it at when I wasn't going to college or doing anything. And now I've picked it back up, obviously, because now I have this beautiful board. I'll put a picture up if I can. Um, if not, you guys could check it out on my community page. Um, you know what? I'm actually just going to post it there. Go to my community page and you'll see a picture of it. But <laughs> it just says good things are coming and it has like magnets on it. And I got like colored markers too from Dollar Tree the other day that are magnetic that I can just put on there. And I literally just wrote down my top three things that I wanted to get done. Um, today and tomorrow because I don't want to like overload myself I just want to get those three things done and if I get those three things done I will be so freaking proud of myself and by the time I know it it's my birthday weekend so I'm just like that is super motivating so I wrote down my top three which are mow the lawn trash bins aka I have to bring out the bins for the company that picks up our trash and bring them back that's like a two-parter and then film edit upload this color with me video so I already mowed the lawn <laughs> this morning and now I'm filming this and then either gonna upload it today or tomorrow you'll see when it's posted um, but yeah it's just been I don't know I it's so weird going from not motivated to do anything to just being like yeah I'm filming a video and I mowed the lawn today and I'm gonna have a healthy lunch and I'm probably just gonna have a chill afternoon the rest of the day and it's gonna be great like, what a mind shift change, you know? <sighs> but, going back to what I was talking about before, about my birthday. Yeah, my birthday's coming up. Um, my birthday is on Sunday, the 11th. So, I'm going to be, so not super busy, but busy enough this weekend. Um, tomorrow, which is Friday, the 9th, I am planning on going to a Autism Resource Center event that's near me. Um, and I'm doing this boat tour with some of my friends there, so that should be really fun. Um, but I don't know if it's still happening or not, because it says it's going to rain tomorrow. So we'll see if it still happens or not. Um, one of my friends is going to give me a ride there and to the restaurant, but then, um, uh, my boyfriend is picking me up after, um, my little event thing, which should be fun and I'll get to ride back home with him and he's going to sleep over. And then on Saturday um, is when I have my friend birthday party. Every year I throw a little get together with some of my friends uh, to celebrate my birthday. So I'm going to have some friends over. Not a big crowd or anything. I don't have that many friends. So I just invited a few people to come over, including my boyfriend, obviously. And my boyfriend knows all these people. So it would just be really great. And some people are coming later because they have work and or other commitments. Uh, so it's just kind of drop in whenever you want to hang out. Um, and just kind of a chill afternoon. Um, and then... You know, after I hang out with my friends uh, for my birthday stuff, maybe we're going to get some Commander in. I've been loving Magic the Gathering. Holy crap, Bloomboro. Chef's kiss. Um, but hopefully I do get some games in. And then I'm just going to have a chill Saturday night with my boyfriend. Uh, and just, like, chill out. And then come Sunday, he's going to sleep over again, obviously, on Saturday night. And then come Sunday... I'm going to have my family all together on Sunday night for a mac and cheese dinner. I really just wanted lobster mac and cheese as like my my meal. I don't know why. That's just something that I was like, I can have a cheat meal during my <laughs> birthday weekend. And that's my cheat meal that I can look forward to. So I'm so excited about that. Um, and yeah, so get to see my family, get to see my friends, get to see my Autism Resource Center community. I am so excited for this weekend. I used to not be so much of a weekend person, just because in the past I wouldn't really have much plans in the past, or I wouldn't make any plans, per se. Um, 
So, to finally have plans, like, freaking every weekend nowadays, it's so nice. I gotta admit. I just always look forward to the weekend because I'm just like, yay, I'm not stuck at home all day. I can, like, go out and go on adventures with my favorite people. So, yeah. So that has been nice, and I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Um, thank you for any of the birthday wishes in advance. I already know some of you are going to be like, happy birthday, Aaron. Oh, my God. How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 27. That's freaking old, dude. Oh my god, 27? I remember when my sister was 26 and I thought that that was old and now I'm 27. About to be 27. It's just crazy how fast time flies, you know? So, lesson of mine that I have been really implementing lately, just thinking about my birthday and stuff too, is just honestly to basically don't take things for granted and just enjoy life for what it is you know what I mean like ugh, it's just something I need to implement more um yeah I'm trying to think of what else to talk about um what are you guys coloring um what have you guys been liking to color lately like I said I've been really liking pastel goth coloring books um, I don't necessarily draw or color them just in pastels. I'm hoping that I get my pastel marker set that I wanted in my wish list. Um, if not, I had I got an Amazon gift card, so I can always get them myself. But then I want to start, you know, actually doing pastel colors on them. Um, but for now, I just have regular markers. I don't really have. A, I mean, I do have pastel. Um, Crayola markers, but alcohol markers are just so much better, in my opinion. I just really like them. Um, hmm. Again, I deeply apologize for the construction in the background. It's just, it's just as annoying to you as it is annoying to me, hearing it all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have much else to talk about. I mean, um, kind of getting into the zone of coloring now. I'm like, oh, I can make it a color with me where I talk to, and then I just like talked for a while and barely did any coloring. <laughs> it's fine. Just trying to think what else to discuss. I basically discussed everything that I wanted to talk about. I didn't know I would do it that quickly. Um, but yeah, no, my, my plan for the rest of the day is honestly just chill out. Because I don't want to burn myself out like I was talking about before. To the point where I get back or loop back into that. So I'm just kind of taking it easy, rewarding myself because it's my birthday weekend coming up and not being too hard on myself about it. So, I hope anything that I discussed was helpful to any of you if you're going through it. Um, I know so many people are going through it right now with different things, so I just hope everyone is at least doing okay out there. Oh, one other thing I wanted to discuss as I finish up this page, because I think I'm just going to finish this page and call it a video, but um, one last thing I wanted to discuss is the next video I plan on putting out. Um, I already have it, um, like the idea of it, and I'm going to start it on Monday, hopefully, um, but essentially I saw on Facebook that this company was offering people um, basically just like free sample packs of um, gummies, like fruit gummies, and I'm going to do a vlog of me taking them and trying them and getting real chill and tell you guys my opinions on them. So that should be a really fun video. I am super excited about it. 
I'm only going to do it though when I know that I have nothing else to do on that particular day. I know the only day that I have to wait till a later time is Wednesday, but I'm going to take them some point in the afternoon or early evening time. So get excited for that. That'll be a nice little vlog. Maybe I'll do like an activity a day or something while uh, being chill. Like, I don't know yet. I don't know, give me your ideas in the comment section below. But I'm very excited to try these out and sample them and, you know, tell you guys what I like about it, what I don't like about it, just my honest opinion about it. So I'm really excited. I, I love how things just sometimes kind of align where you're just like demotivated and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, oh, company wants to give me some samples that's freaking cool um so yeah so i'm excited for that um it should be a very chill week <laughs> and some of them are indie and some of them are um saliva <laughs> i don't know how to say things anymore to not you know get you know in trouble for it on youtube but you know um and then some of them are like a hybrid car. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> uh, I'll explain it all in that video. But if you're interested in seeing that, that should be coming out um, within the next couple of weeks. I might do a video in between then, like now and then, um, because it will take me a bit to kind of edit that together. But, you know. Maybe that'll be the next video after this one. You guys just have to be patient with me to making this video. <laughs> but we shall see. I'm almost done with this picture, though. I'm so excited for future content to come. And, you know, let me know if you like this style of video. Um, and if you do, I will definitely do more of these in the future. Oh, and also I wanted to talk about my honest opinion on these markers. Um, they're okay. I like them. There's just, I did get a marker that was kind of dead <laughs> when I first opened it. So that kind of sucks. It's this, uh, this green marker here, this like light green. And so that kind of sucks. I mean, it works kind of like I was able to color in the bear's eye there, um, in the green bear, but it's like you can only do like small areas with it really so that was kind of disappointing but overall I do really really do like these markers because um, 99% of them except for that one marker does work I don't know if that was just a manufacturing error or something but yeah that was the only disappointing part about it but other than that though these markers aren't too shabby Yeah, I'm just doing the sky right now. I'm sorry if you didn't finish your page before me finishing mine. I mean, I did kind of start mine last night um, while I was just vibing and talking to my boyfriend and our friend on the PS Chat. Because I have that on my phone now. You can actually, like, if you have friends on PlayStation that you want to, like, talk to, you can just download the app and then you can just talk with them, like, while they're gaming and shit. So, life hack. Because I don't have a PlayStation yet anyways. My boyfriend and I live together. I'm, I'm manifesting that. Um, basically, uh, he's going to keep his PlayStation and I might get a Xbox. Just so we have di two different consoles and all that to play on. And of course, we'll have the Switch. I have my Switch Lite. My boyfriend has the actual Switch. Which I'm so excited for. We can play Mario Kart. <laughs> together more often. I love playing Mario Kart with him. Oh my god, it's hilarious watching us uh, race against each other or even Disney Speedstorm is that's a vibe. I might play that today because <laughs> uh, it's, it's a really nice racing game with Disney EDM songs. But I have now since completed the page. What do you guys think of it? I like it. I did end up making the color similar from the chair to the uh, other side, but I think I kind of like it. I like the vibe that it's going for. 
Um, feel free to join my Discord server. I share a lot of my coloring pages on there and just kind of talk to my community on there. I'm trying to be more active on there. So if you'd like to join that, link is in the description. Just go to the link tree link and you'll see the Discord server there. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Uh, it may or may not be that, that vlog that I mentioned earlier. You'll just have to see. You'll just have to see. Alright, bye guys!